you see a crime at the Apple store, does that make you an eyewitness? Mike with Iceberg Gaming here. This is episode number 10 of season 2 of the Noob Gold Challenge, your step-by-step -step guide to making gold on a new server. This is where we ended the week last week. We ended it with 930,000 gold on hand. We still only had one level 70. Our second highest was 66, our tailoring and enchanting character. We're working on that character a lot because we need different, lots of different renowns for that character. So unfortunately, we're going to have to play that character probably a lot because <laughs> the renown system is kind of crazy with having to get all the all the different patterns and stuff. So unfortunately, that character is going to be played a lot more than I was counting on originally, but uh, it is what it is. And the, this week, we are starting things off with 954,000 gold. So we've gained about 15,000 raw gold. And that is including losing another five to 10,000 gold on crafting. I've really been working on my crafting once again this week. We're going to be doing that for a while now. And as you can see, our tailoring and enchanting character is now up to 69. Nice. And uh, our leather working and blacksmithing character is up to 65. I've started working on his renowns also. And up on the auction house right now, we have 231 posted auctions. If they sold right now, they would be worth 630,000 gold. And now let's get into this week's sales. So we have 377 sales this week. The first 100 is coming in at 79,000 gold. This is going to be a good week. We're definitely going to hit the, 100 mil the 1 million mark. Starting things off, we've got some files in here. I was working on my alchemist and I was getting some really good files from the uh, uh, advanced experimentation. Some very nice, uh, very nice procs in there. Very good sales in here. So we're going to see some cool file sales in here. I also went back to work on my old enchanting. So we're going to see a lot of enchanting flips in here and enchanting level up crafts that I just did to level up. And then we've got our glyph market back rocking up again. The glyphs. Uh, a few months ago, before the merger, I was making like a thousand gold per glyph. It was very nice. I made a ton of gold that way. And then the region-wide auction house crashed the glyph market. I could not believe how much it crashed. It was down to like ten gold per glyph um, for a while there. So I I don't know I don't know why. I thought it, I knew it would come down, but I did not expect it to be it to be one percent of the price it was before. So that was crazy. But now they're back into the hundreds, so I've started crafting my glyphs again. So we're going to see some glyphs in here, like the Feral Chameleon and the Crackling Crane. So happy to have that market back up and running. And Glyph of Falling Thunder there too. Other than that, we've got a solid Eternity, Eternity Amber here. This is a cut with Jewel Crafting that we did to level up our Jewel Crafter. Cosrigite Ore, as usual, a fantastic price on that still. Still a very good seller. Uh, here's one of those files. And Propagated Rousing Seedling is the is an item I got from my Herbalism, the way I spec'd. This is an extra item I get. I I took a risk and went for this item using my talent points when I could have used them to get more Wraith Bark. And it looks like that risk did pay off. This item is an excellent price right now. I'm selling them for uh, between 1300 and 1800 each. So very happy about that. And then we've got some Saxifrage in here. Saxifrage has, Saxifrage and Bubble Poppy have come up in price the last few days, so that's been very cool. Been making quite a bit of gold off that. And then we've got our Tomes of Illusion, as usual. These are great sellers. This is an enchanting flip that I do. I have a video about that up on my channel. And there's some more of these. Look at all these. Look at them all, Anakin. <laughs> Plenty of Tomes of Illusion in here. Awakened Earth has gone up in price as well. I was a little surprised by that because I thought that was the most common of the Rousing slash Awaken, but uh, price is up, so we're taking advantage. Uh, more of the files in here and more enchanting stuff and inscription stuff. Uh, Elemental Potion of Power, very nice sale in there. More of the illusions and Macabre Marionette is the Day of the Dead paddle, battle pet. Still got a couple of those left to sell. Uh, Draconium Great Axe is a blacksmithing craft. These are actually profitable, but I was crafting them to level up by blacksmithing. Um, but I noticed they were profitable, so I did make a few more. So we'll see an, a couple extra of those in there, besides just what I did for leveling. Look at this file, the storm, for over a thousand gold for one file. Love it. 
Static Empowerment, same thing. Uh, then our usual suspects in here, Draconium More, Prismatic Leaper, Awakened Order is still crazy price. I love selling me some Awakened Order. Here's another one of those, one of those seeds I was talking about. And more files. Big Houch and Bloom sale in here. Houch and Bloom price is uh, pretty low, so it's almost not worth selling the Houch and Bloom, but it is what it is. Uh, another Awakened Earth sale in here. And to top to end things off with this hundred, we've got a huge eleven thousand gold Wraith Bark sale. So let's open it up and see what's next. The aspects are Oops. My bad. Yes, uh, quiet down. Thank you. All right, let's open it up and see what's next. And for our second set of 100 sales, we have 67,000 gold coming in. So let's take a look and see what we got. More Awakened Earth. Very nice. Saxifrage. Uh, Dread Dreadfoot Linked Spalders of the Fire Flash is a transmog item that we got while doing our uh, Dreamleaf farm. So that's very cool. Then we've got some designs in here, more potions. Uh, a lot of these potions I get from, like, digging in the dirt and and or the expedition packs you find out in the world. Nice saxifrage sale in here. Big bubble poppy sale. Uh, awakened order. Okay, empty magma shell. So this is a farm I did live on stream this week. This is a farm that I got from another gold farmer. Um, I don't have a video up on it because... Uh, because uh, he did the video and I didn't want to copy him, but I figured I would try it out live on stream and uh, it went okay uh, It wasn't as good for me as it was for him, but we made 17,000 gold out of it. So can't complain Next up more Kazragite and then um, Big Severite sale in here, Houch and Bloom File of Static Empowerment, very nice sale in here, another great Rousing Order sale uh, Some more Enchants that I was talking about earlier Here's another Draconium weapon. Um, Jajaradin's Trophy Mask is a random world drop item that I got out in, in the world uh, that transforms your, your appearance into something for an hour. So that is interesting. Um, whatever. <laughs> if people want to buy them, that's their business. Anyways, more Awakened Order, more files, more usual suspects in here. Um... More enchants, sack of spiders, it's just the regular one, it's not the pet. Prismatic Leaper is the only fish that I currently stop to fish up when I see the schools of. Um, I have a video on where to farm that if you're looking specifically for that, but uh, I don't because it's not quite po profitable enough. It is close, but not quite. Wraith Bark, Bubble Poppy, more potions, a little bit of food crafting in here. So I was right about the food materials, the fish and stuff coming up in price with Mythic Plus and Raiding coming out this week, but the food crafts themselves did not come up enough to be profitable, so I was a little disappointed in that. But at least uh, we got a little bit of extra sales in here. Um, the, the file and potion market really took off, though, for sure. Look at all these. File of Static Empowerment. Love it. Glacial Fury, etc., etc. Bubble Poppy. Uh, El Dorado fish. <laughs> I know I'm saying it wrong. I do it on purpose because I think it's funny. Uh, and that's about it of interest to wrap up the second set of 100. So let's open it up and get, get our next set. And we did, in fact, break the 1 million mark. So congratulations, everyone. And our third set of 100 sales is coming in at 97,000 gold. Almost 1,000 gold per sale. That's a great ratio. Very nice. So let's see what we've got. I'm going to go through this quickly with stuff we've already covered um i'll only go into detail if we see anything new <clears throat> so we've got our usual suspects here right uh, awakened order kazurgeit uh saxifrage huge wraith bark sale in here bubble poppy wraith bark pouch and bloom awakened order faded fortune card is from inscription inscription has not been that profitable for me because of the fact that it just takes so much Wraith Bark, and I've been using my Wraith Bark mostly to sell in the auction house, but I've been using it for uh, alchemy and uh, enchanting mostly as well. Um, Kazragite, Rousing Order, Wraith Bark, Wakened Earth, um, Prismatic Leapers, Rousing Order, Awakened Order, 
Got some sharpening stones in here. Those are a nice little quick, cheap and easy profit from Shadowlands blacksmithing. They're not going to make you rich, but they are a great little side hustle, so to speak. Rousing Frost. I think this was an accidental sale, but I'll definitely take it. Very happy to have that 5,400 gold, even though I didn't mean to put those on the auction house. <laughs> but it's fine. Everything is fine. Nobody panic. More Awakened Order, more Prismatic Leapers, huge Wraithbark sale, and more Rousing Air. Okay, let's open it up and get see what's left. And our remaining 79 sales is coming in at 80,000 gold. That's over 1,000 gold per sale. Love to see that. So, again, we're going to go through this quickly, partially because the servers are about to go down, but also because uh, we're not going to repeat things that we've already said. Uh, so we've got uh, Big Severite, Draconium, Kazergeit, Wraithbark, Bubble Poppy, Severite Saxifrage, Ebon Filgreed Doublet is one of my t-shirt flips that I do. Uh, see my video about that. Same as the same with the Scarlet Filigreed Doublet. It's a, a fantastic way to make some extra gold. You spend about 50 gold buying the t-shirts and then as you can see they sell for the th for in the thousands. Uh, Rousing Earth, Wraithbark, um, more Wraithbark, more Enchants, um, Another Draconium Weapon, Big Bubble Poppy and Sackus Fragile Sales, and um, Centaur's Trophy Necklace is a uh, item uh, crafting material. A nice stack of Netherweave bags in here, and uh, Portable Yak Wash is Pandaria Time Walking Gold Making Method. Sack of Spectral Spiders is my year long Hollows End farm. Then we have a couple more of those Tomes of Illusions that I mentioned earlier. Big Rousing Earth Sale, Rousing Fire, I accidentally sold my flasks, Big Awakened Order, Stormwind Mall of the Fire Flash is a minor transmog item, uh, and to wrap it up we've got some Fell Scale Gloves, this is a leatherworking transmog item, but I mostly craft those to level up. And that wraps it up, so let's open this up and get our grand total for the week. And our grand total for this week is... 318.4 thousand gold. This is an excellent week. This might be our best week ever. Uh, we might, it, it might be second or third. I think we might have had one or two weeks better right when Mage Tower first came out the first time. But still, I will definitely take 300,000 gold in a week. Did you know that if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can subscribe to a Twitch channel of your choice? I'd appreciate it if you'd use it on me if you're not using it on anyone else. And our current gold on hand is now up to 1,273,000 gold. Not too shabby, considering we just re-rolled on this server. Thanks so much for watching. That wraps up this week's episode of the New Gold Challenge. Thank, uh, thank you all so much for the support. I hope you are enjoying Dragonflight. Hope you are making a ton of gold. And uh, we'll see you next week for the New Gold Challenge. We'll see you tomorrow for another gold farming guide video. Follow me live on Twitch. Join me for streams both on Twitch and on YouTube where we go over all of our farms and I answer questions and kind of teach people how to farm gold if they need it. Otherwise, we just hang out, tell some dad jokes, and have a good time. Thank you so much. We'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Special thank you to my YouTube members, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you for making this channel possible.